Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and on today's top 10, I'm gonna take a look at the Monday Night Wars line and give my wish list. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. <laughs> moments and with those reveals we've gotten already we are seemingly getting many of those in figure form with the introduction of the nitro stage crowdfunder rest in peace came the monday night wars elite line the general formula we're given was that we'd be given two wcw figures two wwe figures and then one build a figure today's top 10 is going to take a look at 10 of my wishlist figures or characters for the line let's get to it i wanted to start out with an honorable mention so some figures that are, are big moments, but I don't know how um, they might be incorporated, or I assume we're gonna get like The Rock, we're gonna get Stone Cold, we're gonna get Hogan's. Um, I just don't know how deep the line's gonna go, so I did wanna include some honorable mentions. And with that, I've got any WCW cruiserweights. I know that we don't have a lot of guys that we'd really want under contract, but I will take any and every. You know we're probably gonna get a Mysterio or two, um, you can count Eddie Guerrero in there. Obviously, he was a cruiserweight in WCW. Any WCW cruiserweights, I'll take them. I will love them. Um, Sting, Jericho, Goldberg, and Street Clothes are some that I would like. Um, obviously, Sting, Jericho are in AEW. Goldberg is no longer with WWE. So those guys, you know, obviously we'd love to have them. Don't know if we're going to be able to. Um, next up, I would like any any Macho Man figures. Macho Man figures always sell. They're always really cool. He's got so many different designs, so many different colors that you can do. He can be thrown in there in about any shape or fashion. So any um, any Macho Man, and honestly, I'd prefer it be an, not be an NWO Macho Man because we've gotten Wolfpack Macho. We've gotten, um, we just got his ultimate release. So anything non-NWO, I'd be pumped for. Next up is Kevin Nash in his Nitro debut. And this is honorable mention because I am 99% sure that we are going to get him to go with the Scout Hall that they've already shown us. Um, the With that also comes the, the Hogan um, from Bash at the Beach set. So Bash at the Beach, um, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Hogan. I want those three. I'd be shocked if we didn't get those three at all or at least like a little tweak. I really, really want a, an all red Nash. So hopefully we get that. And then lastly, I said I have the uh, the Rock and Mankind from This Is Your This Is Your Life segment. Um, I thought about putting this on my list, but we've kind of gotten those with the Legends figures. The figures themselves wouldn't be that much different than releases we've gotten before. So I don't know if they'd want to put it back into the line. But at the same time, it's one of the biggest moments, it, arguably the biggest moment in the Monday Night Wars, um, especially ratings wise. It was huge. Um, there's a lot of different things they could include with those guys. Or maybe, you know, we've got the ultimate line, which I'll talk about the ultimate line separately, but I just think that'd be something really cool to include in some way, shape or form. So that's my honorable mention. Now we're going to get into the top 10. Number 10 for me is going to be a Paul Bearer or Commissioner Slaughter as a Build-A-Figure. Um, I know Mattel is, is starting to get away from um, just having suited figures as their Build-A-Figures, which is awesome. We're getting the Lex Luger Build-A-Figure um, in this line. We are getting the British Bulldog Build-A-Figure in, I want to say, the Royal Rumble line, um, both of which are not suited figures. Um, but at the same time, I don't think they're going to completely go away from it. So I can see us getting a, um, a Paul Bearer. And I want to say we might have seen a Paul Bearer reveal at um, WrestleMania Access, but I couldn't quite remember. So I put him and Commissioner Slaughter together. I think Commissioner Slaughter, um, Sergeant Slaughter, um, would be a really cool Build-A-Figure, um, something that you could get the suited body and you can use it for other people. Number nine for me is going to be a Shane McMahon. And we have gotten Attitude Era Shane McMahon's. We got the ringside exclusive from when he fought Kurt Angle at King of the Ring. And then we also got a basic in his WrestleMania 15 attire. Um, his kind of 
his DX looking attire when he fought X Pac. And I personally, I turned that into an elite. It was pretty easy, just a, a swap of parts. But I would really like a WrestleMania 17 uh, Shane McMahon, or even just a suited. Like I said, there's a lot. I like, I like the whole McMahon. Um, corporation everyone i can get in a suit i want in a suit i would like a shane mcmahon from wrestlemania 17 but that is kind of past the monday night wars or like i don't know what time periods and that is at like the tail end um but i would love a wrestlemania 17 shane mcmahon and like i said we could get him um another cool moment would be Shane McMahon on the Nitro simulcast when he announced that he bought WCW. I think that'd be really, really cool. Get him in like a turtleneck, get him with a microphone. Um, from what we've seen for reveals so far, it does kind of seem like they're going for moments. Um, we've got that Nitro debut, Scott Hall. They've got the Hell in a Cell, Undertaker. They've got um, a stunning or not stunning a stone cold steve austin that is going to have like his hunting gear and then the lex luger from the debut nitro so this is a moment i picked out specifically um and then like i said wrestlemania 17 i would love an, an another ring gear shane from that time period next up for me at number eight is going to be jeans ddp why on earth we didn't get this in the crowdfunder i don't know I, I backed the crowdfunder. I liked it. I, um, you know, I was a little iffy, but at the same time, I was like, whatever, let's back it. Let's get these figures. Obviously, that didn't happen. One of the big missteps that I, I people talked about right away was the DDP. We got a DDP that had his tights again. A lot of people are really clamoring for a jeans um, version of DDP, and it would be, I think it'd just be, it'd be really easy. I have a custom myself, and I've got the... Um, the head from the basic that they did give us with the jeans in his or with the DDP in jeans and then um, he can use so what I used was the John Morrison legs and then I just painted like skin, like skinny jeans essentially is is what he pretty much wore so I don't think they really need anything new and that is something that like I I don't know why we haven't gotten it we just got greatest hits DDP obviously that is just a re-release of one we just got so we've gotten um, the invasion version, we've gotten tights version, and now I think it's it's about time they put DDP in the line wearing his jeans. Number seven for me is going to be one that, again, when I thought about this, it was more the moment as opposed to the figure. So part of me would be surprised if we got this. Another part of me wouldn't because at the time it was a huge moment, but um, I don't think many people will be clamoring for it, and that is a Medusa or an Alundra Blaze from when she dumped the title on Nitro. Um, at the time, it was a big deal, and really, in the grand scheme of things, didn't have that much of an impact on the Monday Night Wars. The Alundra Blaze figure, I forget what set we got that in. I want to say it was like an, a Walmart exclusive, and I didn't really see it sitting on shelves, but at the same time, I don't know if I saw it a lot. Um... I think this is a Walmart exclusive set, this Monday Night War set, and if you're going to be making a bunch of Medusas, and especially not even in ring gear, um, I don't know how well it would sell. But at the same time, like I said, it was a big moment. When they talk about Monday Night Wars, this is always a moment they show of her dumping the women's title in the trash can. So my thought would be, you give her the look from when she debuted, you give her the trash can, you give her the women's title, which I... I think is the women's title that she came with with her first figure. Um, I don't know like how much tooling she kind of she wore like an all black outfit, so I don't know if it would even like I don't know. I, it might be a really bland figure, but I wanted to put it on the list because for the moment we're thinking about Monday Night Wars. I thought that that would be a pretty good one. Number six here, so we are starting to get down to the guys that I would really really like, and not necessarily I think that we're going to get. As you can see, or as you're about to see, um, number six for me is Buff Bagwell. And I think a lot of people would really, really enjoy a Buff Bagwell figure. I don't know what his standing is with WWE. We've never gotten a Mattel figure of him. Um, he's got some some um, interesting side quests um, after leaving wrestling. But he's still, I see him, he's on social media. He's doing stuff. But 
Who knows if we're going to get a buff Bagwell figure. Either way, I, he's on my wish list. So there's a few options I think you could go with for him. You could give him like his red singles attire, which is what I did on my first custom. You could go with his NWO attire. And he has a couple different ones um, that you could choose from. And then as far as like his formula and whatnot, with my buff Bagwell figure, I use some Macho Man legs, some boots from Barbarian. Um, and then you just give him, you can give him a Triple H torso Um I've seen people use the like Brock Lesnar sized torso. Um, I mean, he was a he was a big guy, a thick dude. So a lot of the larger torsos, I don't think you could go, you could go wrong with Buff. But I think the stuff would be a really awesome figure to get in this line. Next up, another controversial guy that I highly doubt we get, but at the same time, you, you never know. You never know with WWE. Uh, just recently, we did get an announcement or. It's been floating out there that Mosh and Thrasher, the headbangers, have signed Legends contracts. And, you know, WWE, especially with Triple H kind of at the helm, sort of. We don't really know. It's supposed to be. Hasn't been. It feels like they've um, kind of opened up the catalog a little more. Talk about a few more um, Legends in their, in their past. We just saw at the Backlash event, we had Savio Vega show up. We had Carlito show up. I don't know if they sign contracts or if it's just like a one-time thing, but WWE seems to be a little bit more open. So um, Mike Tyson is someone that I think would be phenomenal for this line. And with the British Bulldog pieces that we've seen, I think you could just make, you can give him those build-a-figure legs. You could give him, um, obviously you're going to give him the like DX chopping hands, you give him the fist hands because he's got to be able to knock out Shawn Michaels. Um, if you didn't want to do him as a build a figure, you can make him um, with some shield legs, but then you got to give him that DX cutoff shirt. Um, as far as like a torso, you could give him the Mr. T torso. I assume you're going to keep his shirt on him, so Mr. T or Booker T torsos were both would be good. And then obviously, his WrestleMania 14 look is what I'm talking about. I just think that would be an awesome, awesome addition for this line. Number four is going to be the big booty daddy himself, Big Papa Pump. And this is one that I am, I'm pretty positive we're going to get him in this line. Um, we've seen, like, a, there was a digital render that they kind of had in the background of a lot of the, uh, the influencer, um, like the tour they had, there was a Scott Steiner render up on the wall. And it wasn't the one that we saw in the um, crowdfunding pack, which I'm, I, I'm bummed we're not going to get that. Um, I know that other, I saw a lot of people saying like, well, we're going to get this Scott Steiner. We're going to get Scott Steiner Ultimates. And they're 100% correct. But I like to get as many different um, looks and attires as guys as possible. And white singlet Scott Steiner is one I would love to have. I had the Toy Biz figure of him in his white singlet and his black singlet from back in the day. Um, so that's very nostalgic there, but there's a lot of different ways they could go with Scott Steiner. I would be, I think we're going to get, um, he's more likely to be in the ultimate line. They're doing an ultimate line for the Monday Night Wars as well. So I can see him being the perfect fit in there. My idea for a Scott Steiner was to give him his sunglasses you give him his black or white uh, biker shorts, and he also wore purple um, and red, I know, but black and white is just more iconic. That's what I think of during that time, like the towards the end of WCW there. Got to throw the world title in there, or you could give him the U.S. title. And then if you really want to go all the way, you want to go balls to the wall with this Scott Steiner, you give him a tiger with his entrance. He entered, came, I, I don't remember what, Greed, might have been uh, WCW Greed from 2000, 2001, I can't remember. But he came in, he entered with a tiger. So you give Scott Steiner some sunglasses, a world heavyweight title, you give him a tiger, and you have one banging Scott Steiner figure. Number three for me is Conan. And there's a bunch of looks, again, like all these guys have a lot of looks. Um, I tried to go, I you know, I tried to get some WWE and some WCW and Conan is a guy that I thought, you know, maybe there's a chance we get him um, more likely than like Buff Bagwell or Mike Tyson. I think Conan just recently was with WWE at the Hall of Fame. Um, by all accounts, he enjoyed himself. Um, it, they seem to at least have some sort of 
communication with each other and it was on good terms. Uh, WWE was apparently very happy with how things went. So you never know. We could get a Conan. Um, and I know that I and a lot of people would really, really enjoy that figure. So you essentially could just give him the R-Truth formula. You give him the um, R-Truth legs. The torso you could get, you could use the R-Truth torso or I think the uh, like the Stone Cold torso or even the Alberto Del Rio torso um, would look good on him. And then there's a bunch of different colors you could give him. You can give him black pants. You could give him the like tan khaki pants. You could do the NWO Wolfpack look. You could give him the Filthy Animals look. Um, a lot of different things. Really, I don't care. If we get a Conan at all, I would be extremely, extremely happy. We are down to our final two, and number two for me is none other than Vincent Kennedy McMahon. I know that he is a very controversial figure, obviously, and we know everything that's gone down recently, but when we're talking about the Monday Night Wars, you can't have the Monday Night Wars without Vince McMahon. Him and Austin, him and Stone Cold, obviously they were the, the biggest thing going for WWE, um, for quite some time, quite the stretch during um, the Monday Night Wars, and I think there's a lot of different looks you could give him. We have gotten a Vince McMahon from the Attitude Era in the Network Spotlight line, which was a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, that actually was a pretty sweet figure. It came, he had, he had suited pants, he had the like ripped up Ultimate Warrior torso, and he had the black like sweater, um, from, man, I can't remember what match it was exactly. I think he wore it a few times, but he had like a black sweatshirt. And it was, I, it was a figure I really enjoyed. I did end up swapping mine, changing things around a little bit. So um, he had like the singlet torso, but there's so many different ways you could go. I personally would really, really like him in a suit. Um, when I think Attitude Era Vince McMahon, I know that he wrestled, but I want him in a suit desperately. Um, you could put him, you could put the um, WWF, that Attitude Era title with him. You could give him a dark gray or like a black suit um, and or with a brown undershirt. And then another option I thought would be the tan suit that he wore in his promo video, like talking about and announcing the Attitude Era. I think that would be another like moment, another cool time that they could do. And like I said, you could you could even reuse the network spotlight head. I think we're going to get a lot of new tooling, a lot of new head scans. Um, even if we don't, like the true effects that kind of ups, updates a lot of those older head scans. Um, but that is one. I just, I think it would be awesome. And I would be, sh I mean, I'd be shocked if we didn't get a Vince McMahon in this line. But at the same time, we haven't gotten a ton of Vince McMahon figures. We have gotten more as of recently, though, so I really think the window's open, and this is a great spot to put him. Time to round things out today with number one, and number one for me is going to be Booker T. This is another one that people um, really they scratch their heads about because um, he wasn't even mentioned in the crowdfunder. Um, there's a lot of a lot of directions you could go with Booker T. You could give him his. Um, his singles run when his early singles run you could give him his white long tights you could give him the black um, or red I know he had so he had white black and red long tights I don't know if he had um, purple I know when he was in Harlem Heat they wore purple and they have had gold too um, we did get the Harlem Heat figures obviously and those are two really good figures I think that was Elite 47 I don't know the status of Stevie Ray's Legends contract, but I know we're still getting Booker T figures, so um, I would I'd like to assume we can still get Stevie Ray as well. Uh, Harlem Heat, a redo of them would be really cool. At the same time, though, I don't know if they're gonna want to use two spots in the wave because each wave is four figures plus the builder figure. I don't know if they're gonna want to use two slots for a Harlem Heat, so it'd be cool. But at the same time, you know, I think I'd rather them use. Um, use those slots for a different guy so booker t by himself in his singles run you could you could go a lot of places like i was saying you could give him the long tights in the black or white or red 
Um, you could give him his short tights, which were more towards the end of WCW. And I, I already really like the short hair head skin that we have for him. I think that you could probably give him like a different expression, but just the true effects upgrade would be really nice on that. And obviously we're getting the double jointed arms. On um, all of my um, WCW Booker T's, or his ultimates, all his ultimates use the Mr. T torso, which I think is perfect. Um, is in the elite line, I I'm assuming they would just keep the formula they have. Um, so essentially, a, a Bobby Lashley figure is what you'd be looking at. They use the same formula, same legs. They have the same boots, um, and then they have the same torso. So I think that'd be a little big for him, but that's what they've used before. So most likely, what we would get again. But regardless, I think that would be a really cool figure to have. Um, you can you can include the tv title he held that for a bit you can include the u.s title the world heavyweight title you know booker t really worked his way up to the main event so a lot of spots that you can choose from um maybe not necessarily a single moment i don't think they're going to do the uh like minor for the 49er uh gold rush match or any of the pole matches so a lot, like I said, a lot of ways you can go with Booker T, and none of them that I think would be a, a poor choice. I think WCW, WCW Booker T is an absolute lock for this line, and a big want of mine, even though I do have a bunch of customs, so that's why he is my number one. So there's my top 10, and I just tried to go with a top 10 that seemed relatively reasonable, but also, you know, got some, like, newer guys in there, and we've only seen the grayscale um prototypes of this line we're getting some like like i said some moments in time more than we are just getting different characters so i don't know if we're gonna get like a legion of doom 2000 if we're gonna get godfather if we're gonna get like some of those mid card guys um i would like to i'd like to think that this is gonna open up the door for some of those mid card guys or some of those cruiserweights that were really really important to those monday night war uh periods Nonetheless, we'll see what we get. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Hopefully, some of my wish list does come true. But that is going to wrap everything up for today. This is the first top 10 list, obviously. If you've been following the channel, um, you know. But I would like to do more of these. So let me know what worked, what didn't work, what you liked about this. Um, like, share, subscribe. I always appreciate that. And last, remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy more action figures. Figure Dude out.